What can you tell us about the Diobandis and about Darul Alum? Dioband started in India in the 19th century. It is a school that is that has ta'assub towards the fiqh of the Hanafis. Remember that they have fanaticism towards the fiqh of the Hanafis, but not towards the aqidah of Abu Hanifa. In the aqidah that they are Sufi, in their creed or in the, in the understanding of the Asma wa Sifat, that they are maturidi, that they make ta'wil and they distort and they explain away the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, such as istiwa, that Allah being above and distinct and separate from his creation. And likewise, with regard to their creed in the, in the general affairs, then their creed follows the creed of the Ashaira or the Maturidiyya, which is obviously a creed which is in opposition to the creed and the belief of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. As I mentioned, with regard to their fiqh, and in their fiqh that they are muta'asib, that they are fanatical, over and above the, the, the evidences of the Quran, the Sunnah, that they will fanatically follow the fiqh of the Hanafis. Regardless, even if you bring them a hadith, it doesn't matter to them. They will stick to the madhab and they are fanatics to the madhab. They are fanatical individuals who stick to the madhab. And it's this Darul Alum, which are the places of their study, then all they teach them there is the creed and the mindset of uh, the, 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 these, these Ash'ari, Maturidi, deviated understanding of the names and attributes of Allah. And likewise, that they have with them something by way of irja, of the murji'ah, that they believe that Iman is one fixed entity, which is also another deviation that they possess. And that they are, of course, without doubt, hizbiyun. That they are, it is a hizb. That they have allegiance and alliance towards each other. And anyone who opposes them, that they have enmity towards them. Even if that individual may be a strong scholar of hadith and sunnah, that they will oppose them. That the Ubandis have a very strong and evil stance towards the Salafis and towards Shaykh al-Islam, Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab. That their ideology... And, they, uh, and, and with regard to the ideology and, and Tawheed al-Ubudiyya or the Tawheed of Uluhiyya, that in this regard that they believe in tasawwuf and seeking aid and intercession from the dead in their graves and from the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in that regard that they are people of deviation, that they have many, many innovations within their creed. From their founding fathers is this Ashraf Ali Thanwi, who has a work called, which they call in the Urdu language, the Behesti Zawr. This book is filled with innovations and shirk, and tales of Sufism, and grave worship, and other than that, and superstition. And this is the creed of the Yuband. It is without doubt, and Allah knows best, one of the largest schools that is present in the world today, which shows the widespread deviation of these individuals. Most of Jamaat al-Tabliq belong to this school of the Yuband. Most, the vast majority of Jamaat al-Tabliq have been raised within the creed and the fiqh of the Diobandiyya, of the Yuband. And most of the Taliban in Afghanistan, are of the same aqidah. They follow the creed of the Uband. So therefore, they are people of innovation and people of deviation. And we do not take from them, nor do we seek knowledge from them. Rather, we ask Allah to guide them. And anyone who has been deceived by them, then we call them to the kitab and the sunnah with the understanding of the sahaba, not a school of thought that was raised in British India in the 19th century. Wallahu